how do I find a company that is willing to sponsor me? Or how do I even see job openings to know if I can even apply for that job and qualify for a company to sponsor me? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Josephine. I'm a YouTuber based in the Netherlands. And if you're a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for coming back, okay? Thank you guys for your love and support. It means so, so much to me, okay? Okay, guys, today I'm going to be answering the most asked questions of all time, okay? One of the questions that I always get every week, I kid you not, is how do I move to the Netherlands? I get this question at least twice a week, either via my email or via DM on Instagram. Today, listen guys, I will be addressing that question in details, okay? I'll be sharing with you guys how to move to the Netherlands, either for short stay or for long term, what to do, how to get all the information that you need and much more, okay? So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with this video. Okay guys, in order to answer this question, okay, I did go straight to where I knew that I would get all the answers that I need, which is the IND website, okay? IND stands for Immigratie and Naturalisatie Dienst, which means immigration and naturalization service. So this is a body that is responsible for immigration here in the Netherlands, both long stay and short stays. I'm going to put the link to their website in the description box so you can go there and check the website out and you'll be able to get pretty much all the information that you need. Now, according to the IND, you can either come to the Netherlands for short stay or long stay. A stay is considered short stay when it's less than 90 days. And for this stay, you need a visa, okay? Now, this visa is normally called a Schengen visa and you can apply for this visa on the Dutch website, which I'll put the link somewhere in the description. But bear in mind that for short stay, you can either come here as a tourist, so come here on holiday, or you can come here to visit your family for a short period of time, or you can come here for business. So it's just like having a Schengen visa, either for tourism, to visit your family, or for business, okay? Bear in mind, guys, that with your short stay visa, you're not allowed to stay in the Netherlands for more than 90 days. You are also not allowed to work in the Netherlands and there are also many more restrictions. So I would definitely recommend you check out the link in the description box to know, to get more details, okay? Now this video will focus mainly on long stay. For those of you who are interested in moving to the Netherlands for a long period of time or even permanently, okay? So the major difference between long stay and short stay is that for short stay, you cannot stay in the Netherlands for more than 90 days, but for long stay, you can stay much more. And for long stay, you do need a residence permit of which you need a sponsor. If you go to the IND website, they tell you pretty much the type of residence permit that you can get here in the Netherlands. So we have a residence permit for you to join your family or partner. You have a residence permit for work. You have a residence permit for study, that's if you want to study here in the Netherlands. Now you have a residence permit for au pair and exchange. Then you have the permanent residency, which allows you to stay long, 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 long term here in the Netherlands, okay? If you're between 18 and 25 years and you want to come to the Netherlands to work as an au pair, you may be eligible to apply for the au pair and exchange a permit. I don't have all the details to be honest, so you may have to go online and check this out. Check out this YouTube channel, Nemo Mama Kion and Yarik. I'm going to put the link to her channel in my description box. So I do know that she lives here in the Netherlands and she has had, I think, two or more au pairs live with her here in the Netherlands and she has talked a bit more about how like au pair program works here in the Netherlands and all of that. So you can go check out her channel if you're interested in being an au pair here in the Netherlands. The residence permit to join your family or partner is pretty straightforward. So if you have a partner who is an EU citizen or is from the Netherlands, or you have a partner who is officially working here in the Netherlands with a valid 
work permit then you can also apply to join your partner here in the Netherlands and in that case your partner becomes your sponsor okay you can also apply if you're less than 18 years of, of age and you have your parents here in the Netherlands and you want to join your parents in the Netherlands your parents can also become your sponsor and sponsor your stay or your permit to live here in the Netherlands According to the IND website, there are different uh, permits for work, okay? You do have the work permit that covers highly skilled migrants, and you do have the work permit for researchers. You do have even a short-term mobility permit also for researchers. You also do have a residence permit for startup, like for startup companies. You have a residence permit for self-employed persons. And I would definitely recommend that you go through this website and go see what the requirements for each permit is, okay? For the work permit, I'll be mostly focusing on the high-skilled migrant permit, okay? Because that one is the one that I'm most familiar with. Highly skilled migrants are usually <laughs> immigrants who have like a skill that is in high demand. So basically, when a company has an opening, they first of all look around within the Netherlands to see if they can to see if they can find someone who can fill up that position in the Netherlands. And if they're not able to get someone who can fill up that position within the Netherlands or within the EU, then the company may be forced to look outside of the EU to find people who have those skills that are looking for. And once they find the person and the companies themselves are qualified to sponsor that person, then they, they can employ that person and sponsor that person to become a highly skilled migrant here in the Netherlands. How do you qualify to be a highly skilled migrant? Well, I don't think there's anyone that they wrote highly skilled migrants on their forehead, no. I think in most cases you need to be educated, okay? You should have at least a university degree. However, it's really up to the company and what skills that they are looking for. Now, the next question that I always get from people is, how do I find a company that is willing to sponsor me? Or how do I even see job openings to know if I can even apply for that job and qualify for a company to sponsor me as a highly skilled migrant? The answer that I have for you guys is a website, actually, that is being the, that was designed by the Dutch government okay to attract high skilled migrants this website is called welcome to nl website i'm going to navigate this website here now this website provide information about living in the netherlands immigration and requirements for immigration in the netherlands actually even it even provides you with an application that can help you with relocation essentials that application is called the relocation app Okay, and I like about the Dutch is that when they want to do something, they actually do it really, really well, which is what I like. Okay, now when you go to this website, you can navigate straight up to the job section and you can search for any job role. Okay, so if for instance you're a medical doctor, you can go to the uh, search button and search medical doctors or doctors. Okay, and then it brings a list of all the opportunities or rather all the job openings that are available. At the moment in that role okay one thing that i'm not sure of is once you find a job role does it automatically mean that the company will be willing to sponsor you if you apply for the position and get it i would say i don't know so once you see the job opportunities you can then apply for those job roles and in your application you can also put it up a cover letter stating that you're currently living in a certain country say nigeria oh i'm currently living in nigeria i hope that the company is open to sponsor me if i get this job opportunity so yeah these are something that you can you know ask but this is one of the easiest way to search for a job here in the netherlands especially job that are open to people outside of the netherlands this website is packed with information okay you can even learn a lot about the different provinces in the netherlands what these provinces are all about and all that i mean you can get literally all the information you need about living in the Netherlands as a highly skilled migrant, okay? See, after providing this website for you guys, listen, I don't want anybody, nobody has the right now to contact me to say, hey, how do I come to the Netherlands? How do I move to the Netherlands? How do I find a job in the Netherlands? This website has all the information literally that you need, okay? Now, another way that I've, I've told people to actually find jobs is go on LinkedIn, okay? 
put Netherlands at the location and search for a job. Look at the companies that have job openings in the topic or the sector that you're looking into and email email the recruiters of that company and ask them, hey, I have the qualification or hey, I'm, I'm qualified for the job role that you just posted here. But listen, I don't have, I'm currently in Nigeria and I don't have a permit. Does your company sponsor? That is also another easy way to look for a job. Okay. Now another way, which is the way that I, I found my job. I don't know if this is ideal, but all I did was just to go on Google and search for the job position that I'm looking for. And I put a location. I was looking for a PhD position in, um, in the field of environmental sustainability. So I searched literally PhD environmental sustainability in Netherlands and websites popped up and they showed, you know, some PhD roles or opportunities available here in the Netherlands. So yeah, just something like that could actually help. Like, don't be scared to reach out to recruiters. If you're unsure if a company would sponsor you, you know, reach out to the recruiter, email them, ask them, tell them, oh, hey, I'm in Nigeria. This is my CV. I qualify for this role, but I don't know if your company is open to sponsor. Yeah, it's really that straightforward. These are the three ways that I would highly recommend you search for a job. And I really hope the best for you guys especially for those who really do want to move to the netherlands okay okay guys at this point i would like to give a shout out and invite you guys for an event okay there is an event called afro euro tech con that will be happening on the april 8 2023 is being hosted by the black tech and business incubator all of this event is first of all to demystify tech to teach you more about the opportunities that we have in the tech industry especially for those who did not study anything related to tech okay it's no news that at this point the tech industry is taking the world by storm okay there are so many opportunities available for people who are into tech both men and women so um, I would really, really recommend you attend this event because it will provide you with information regarding how to get into the tech industry without necessarily having a degree in tech. Okay, it provides you with what are the, the transitional pathways into the tech industry and some skills that you can learn to, you know, to be, to qualify, to apply for positions within the tech industry. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you joining. Okay. Is you can join in from anywhere around the world. I'm going to put the link to register for this event in my description box. Okay. So you can just click on this link, register for this event, and then get a zoom link to attend the event. Okay. It's happening on April the 8th, 2023 which is next week friday okay this event is open to those who are already in the tech sector okay and those who are not in the tech sector who are interested in joining this industry in the future okay and you're looking out for opportunities that you can you know use to transition into the tech industry then this event is for you you also have access to ask like questions to people who are already in the tech industry working all over the world including the netherlands so yeah get yourself properly positioned to be hired as a highly skilled migrant in the tech industry okay guys so another question that i have here is if i get a job in the netherlands can i move with my family and the answer here is yes so if you're moving to the netherlands as a highly skilled migrant in most cases when the company is putting up an application for you to move to the netherlands they will ask you if you're married or if you have any family members that you would like to come along with however bear in mind that these family members need to be immediate family members so it has to be either your spouse or your kids okay at least for now i don't think you can move with maybe your sibling or your mom or your dad i'm not sure but i don't think so i'm very sure that these family members at least covers your spouse and your children okay and the good thing is when your spouse is coming your spouse gets exactly the same permit that you get so if you are coming to the netherlands as a highly skilled migrant your spouse also gets a permit that allows him or her to work as a highly skilled migrant here in the netherlands so your spouse can work full time as well so that's one good thing that i find here now the next question is how do i know if a salary is enough for my family okay. okay so i normally get this question a lot of times so people come to me and be like oh i got a job that is offering me five thousand six thousand euros i have a family of four or i have a family of five will this be enough 
right now now the easiest way to find this out easy easy is just to go online and search cost of living put the city that the company is located in maybe if this the company is in delft for instance you can say what is the cost of living delft netherlands 2023 or cost of living Rotterdam Netherlands 2023 and a lot of websites will give you information about like an average cost of living always take it with a pinch of salt but at least it gives you an information an idea of what the cost of living is and whether your salary will be enough to cater for your family another thing that I always tell uh, people is that remember that if you're coming with a highly skilled migrant permit your spouse can work also so even if you, the salary Salary might not be able to completely take care of your family all the time all you need is maybe an initial savings that can take care of you and your family for the first six months of your stay while your spouse looks out for a job to support you and your family okay another question that I've been asked is also how do I negotiate a salary when offered a position here in the Netherlands one thing that I always recommend or one thing I say is this when moving to the Netherlands remember that the company is already sponsoring you the company to an extent to have to you know pay some extra money i think when they are um, submitting your application as well so also have that in mind okay however in order to know whether the salary that they're offering you is good enough in terms of your the position that you've been offered just go online just search literally on google salary software engineers netherlands or salary phd netherlands most times you might not be able to of course get an exact number but at least you'll be able to get an idea of what the salary indication is for different people in that job role sometimes you get a range to be honest you don't get like a certain amount you get a range and that helps you to know whether the salary they're offering you is within that range okay now while negotiating also bear in mind a few more things okay check out whether the company would allow you to work from home so is there any opportunity for remote working in some days it could help because I mean it could allow you to even live away from the city where the company is located especially if the city is a very expensive city like Amsterdam another thing you may need to look out for is also relocation allowance a lot of companies provide relocation allowance especially if you're moving from outside of the Netherlands so maybe find out from the company if they provide that as well now another thing that you may want to negotiate or might want to ask the company if they could provide is language cost okay you may want to let your company know that you've been interested in learning Dutch after a few years here in the Netherlands and you would like to know if they are open to you know take care of some of that language cost so yeah see if you can negotiate something like that that will be really nice okay guys okay, so the next question that I have here is this how long do I have to work in the Netherlands before I qualify for citizenship or permanent residency if you're moving to the Netherlands as a highly skilled migrant and if you live in the Netherlands for five years consecutively okay so you cannot be away from the Netherlands I think for more than 90 days at a time I think that's a rule but you need to stay in the Netherlands for five years consecutively then you qualify to apply for the Dutch citizenship or the permanent residency I do have a video here on my page where I talked about the Dutch citizenship the good the bad and the ugly I'm going to link this video somewhere in the cards so you can go check it out and see if this is something you would want to consider in the future but regardless there is also an option of permanent residency if you don't want to go for Dutch citizenship the question that I have here is who is qualified for 30% rule and what does it even mean what are the benefits okay now 30% rule is a Dutch tax benefit system that works for high skilled migrants that are employed into the Netherlands for you to qualify for this you should not have lived or worked in the Netherlands before I think you should not have lived in the Netherlands for more than 90 days and you should not have worked in the Netherlands previously so if this is your first time ever moving to the Netherlands or your first time ever working in the Netherlands then you're most likely going to qualify for the 30% rule okay one thing that I always say is when you're offered a position you can also ask your employer whether they are aware of the 30% rule and if you qualify, okay? What it means is that 30% of your salary will not be taxed for the first five years of your stay here in the Netherlands. That is really a good deal. Also, if you're qualified for 30% rule, you don't need to 
you know, take another driving test and driving exam when you move to the Netherlands if you already own a driver's license. So if you have a driver's license, you can easily exchange your driver's license without needing to do any driving test. Okay. Now this applies to not just you, but also your spouse. So your spouse is also qualified to exchange their driver's license. Okay. I Okay guys, so now I'll be addressing how to move to the Netherlands as a student, okay? Just like I mentioned before, when people contact me regarding how to move to the Netherlands long term, I usually point them in the direction of either first of all finding a job or coming in as a student to kind of learn a skill, especially skills that are in high demand here in the Netherlands and then looking for a job afterwards, okay? Now guys, listen, I'm very, very passionate about education because education literally changed my life okay my dad believed so much that if you go to school right if you educate yourself you kind of open doors for opportunities for yourself and that has been my story as well for those of you who do not know i did my first degree in nigeria and then did my masters in the uk before moving to the Netherlands to do my phd the first question that i have here is how do i find a school on a course to study here in the Netherlands. All you need to do literally is just go online and search universities in the Netherlands, literally. You will be able to find the list of literally all the universities in the Netherlands. And once you have that, the next thing I also recommend, the next thing to do is to figure out what course you want to do here in the Netherlands. What do you want to study? You can choose a course that you're passionate about, or you can choose a course that is in high demand here in the Netherlands. Why I recommend courses that are in high demand is that it helps you that when you are done with studying, especially if you want to remain in the Netherlands, it makes it easier for you to find a job. When you find a school or when you find a course within a school that you want to do and you want to find out more about that course or you want to find out more information regarding moving to the Netherlands as a student in that school, you can easily contact the school. Most times you will find a contact number or an email address that you can reach out to to get more information regarding that course or get more information regarding migrating to the Netherlands as a student. Okay? Okay guys, so I also put in the description box a link to a website where you can get information regarding financing your studies here in the Netherlands as an international student. This website also talks about a few scholarships that are available for international students. Bear in mind that this website doesn't show all the scholarships that are available. So yeah, you can still contact your school to get more information, but at least this website gives you an overview of you know the financing opportunities that are available for international students here in the Netherlands. I hope it helps, okay? Now, another question that I have here is, is studying in the Netherlands easy? Studying in the Netherlands is not an easy feat, okay? In my opinion, it's not an easy feat, especially for international students. First of all, the school fees for international students here in the Netherlands is quite high. Master's degree here in the Netherlands is two years and you pay for the course every year. So it's per year, not per degree as you have in the UK. So I know for TU Delft, the school fees ranges somewhere around 20,000 euros per year. So for two years, you're already paying 40,000 euros. And if you happen to uh, extend your studies for some reason, you still have to pay for the additional year. So it's quite expensive, I would say. In addition to the high cost of studying here in the Netherlands, you're also required to make enough progress each year. You need to pass at least 50% of the credit for that year for you to retain the sponsorship that is being offered by the school. If you do not meet this requirement, the university can withdraw their sponsorship and you will be asked to leave the country. Now, another question that I've gotten is, can I work and pay my fees with the income that I earn in the Netherlands? Most okay. Dutch universities require you to pay your school fees upfront. Okay, yes, especially if you're from certain countries, I, at least I know about Nigeria. Most Dutch universities require Nigerians to pay their school fees upfront. Another thing to have in mind is that when you have a student visa, you're only required, you're only allowed to work maximum of 16 hours a week, especially during term time when the school is in session. You're only allowed to work full time during the summer holiday, which is within, uh, which is around June, July, and August. So I would say it's going to be extremely difficult to be able to work 
and pay your fees with the money earned. I, in fact, in my opinion, it's almost impossible. Now, the next question that I'll be answering is this. Can I come with my family when I come to the Netherlands to study? Now, I don't have the complete answer to this question, to be honest, because for some reason, I've not been able to get a straight up answer online. Okay. But what I saw online from different sources was that for students, you need to have lived in the Netherlands for at least a year before you can be able to bring in your spouse. That is what I saw online. I'm not certain. So that's why for this question, I would highly recommend you contact the school that you intend to study in and get that information from them. Okay. One thing that I'm certain about is that your spouse gets the same permit that you get. Okay. So if you're coming in as a student, then your spouse will also get more or less the student permit that you have. So your spouse is also restricted to work 16 hours a week during your term time and can work full time only during the summer. I know this is very different from the UK student visa where the spouse is allowed to work full time throughout the period of your study. That is not the case in the Netherlands. But bear in mind that your spouse can only work full time in the Netherlands if your spouse is self-employed. The next question that I have here is, will I get a job after studying? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you that, can I? <laughs> anyway, one thing that I would say here is that the rate of unemployment here in the Netherlands is very low. But I always recommend to consider courses that are in high demand, okay? Another thing to bear in mind is that after your study, you're entitled to one year orientation year. That's what it's called. That year is like an extra year that you're being given to look for a job here in the Netherlands. One thing to have in mind is that the orientation year permit is not only limited to people that studied in the Netherlands. Okay. If you studied outside the Netherlands and your school is among the top 200 schools in the world or the subject or this course that you studied in your school is among the top 200 in the world based on subject ranking, then you also qualify to apply for the orientation year permit here in the Netherlands. So it's not only open to those who studied in the Netherlands, which is great. So if you studied outside of the Netherlands, but your school has a high ranking among the top 200 in the world, or the subject or course you studied is among the top 200 in terms of subject ranking, then you qualify also okay i would definitely recommend you check out the imd website to learn more about how to apply for the orientation year permit here in the netherlands okay so yeah this is the last question that i'll be answering in this video i think this video is already very long okay i hope that i've provided you guys with enough information regarding moving to the netherlands especially for work or to study okay do let me know in the comment section if you move to the Netherlands for work or to study and how was the process for you I'm very very curious to know okay and if you're Dutchy if you do have any you know any information regarding how people can move to the Netherlands legally please do let me know in the comment section you might also be providing information to someone else who may need it okay thank you guys once again for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing it will mean so much to me thank you once again and i'll see you in my next one bye